Okay, so I actually vividly remember my senior year of high school. I was like, you know what? I'm done dating these high school guys. Like, I'm over it. I'm just gonna wait till college and I'm going to find the perfect guy in college. And let's just say uh, when I got to college, my uh, <laughs> dreams of hopefully finding the perfect guy in college was shattered <laughs> and i think it's because for some reason i thought there was going to be like a huge difference between college guys and high school guys and it wasn't until about my sophomore year of college that i realized yes there's actually a huge difference in those two group of guys but you have to be looking at the right places in order to see the difference so that will all make sense as i go on and explain it to you um but there is a little bit of a twist to this video the different advices i have to share with you uh were actually recorded uh, in a separate video it is a part of a college guide that i put together so i put together a college guide and this guide includes seriously like everything you need to know before college and one of the things we discuss in this guide were um, relationships um so yeah i just wanted to share this with you so you could have a, a a better understanding of the difference between high school guys and college guys and if there is even a difference at all <laughs> so without further ado let's just get right into the video let's talk about guys so i don't know about you but when i was a senior in high school i was like i am not dating anybody in my high school because i'm just ready to move on to college and find some guys there and i think society in general puts this huge pressure on us to find a guy and get married after college and if you go to a christian college let me just tell you everybody literally ends up getting married like before they graduate it's a miracle if you make it out of college you don't get married it's, it's a little ridiculous <laughs> so that being said it's you know this is a very very important topic and i really want to take some time to discuss it so in this video i want to talk about the difference between high school guys versus college guys and let me just tell you when i was in high school i had such high hope for college guys and then i got to college and i was like you guys are not much different <laughs> like you you're just like the other high school guys that were just kind of immature and idiots <laughs> but the longer i've been in college i have noticed that there are good guys out there but i'm just here to tell you they're not very easy to find <laughs> um and just don't have this expectation of like as soon as you get to college you're gonna find your boyfriend that you're gonna date all the way through college and marry after college just try not to have that expectation because man um it, it might be very very hard to fulfill that expectation so another thing i want to point out is if a guy was considered a nice guy or a good guy in high school most likely that's gonna be the guy in college who's also gonna be the nice guy and the good guy in high school. So if you spent all your high school years uh, denying all the guys and you gave them a reason like, well, you're just too nice. Yeah, you probably wanna start um, going out with those guys. <laughs> because those are the guys that are awesome in college as well because the guys that were like jocks, partiers, um, F boy, <laughs> they're just worse when they get to college because they're older and they have more freedom. So like they honestly just kind of get worse. <laughs> so if you just were never into the nice guys in high school, I really recommend you start start making those guys be your type, especially if you're looking for a lasting relationship and if you want a guy that's gonna treat you nicely go for the nice guys another big thing i've noticed between high school guys and college guys is there's a huge difference between freshmen and senior guys so in high school i mean there's a difference between freshman guys and senior guys but in college it's like a whole type of different because most of the freshman guys they are like so happy because their mother's no longer there and they can just go party it up whenever they want they they just go like freedom happy <laughs> but i've noticed the senior guys are a lot more settled down they have got their party stage out of the way they're starting to apply for jobs or trying to find like a stable relationship and they're just kind of ready to you know figure out their life after graduation i'm not saying this is the, the fact with like every freshman guy and every 
senior guy, but I just have noticed that the older guys are a lot more mature. Plus, girls are just like naturally more mature than guys. And so <laughs> if you really want a mature guy, you almost have to go find somebody older because um, the guys your age will most likely not be at your maturity level so there's a huge difference between older guys and younger guys when you get to college the other big difference i've noticed between high school and college guys is most of the time college guys seem to know what they want again this kind of depends on the age but usually once um, the guys get a little older they know um, they have an idea of what they want to do with their life they also have a much better idea of the kind of girls they want to date um, they're over the one night stands they they're ready to kind of settle down and ready to find a nice girl so if you're one of those girls who've really struggled finding a relationship because you feel like you're the only girl that has any morals and values this is your time to shine a lot of the times once the guys get older they're like oh maybe i should have gone for those girls <laughs> another big difference i noticed between high school guys and uh, college guys is college guys don't care as much about fitting in now again this really kind of depends on the age difference i know freshman guys they definitely still try really hard trying to fit in but the older they get the more uh mature they get and they kind of find their friend group so they're not like trying so hard to fit in friend groups anymore because they've already like found their friend group so that's kind of nice honestly um talking to guys that are not always trying to show off and trying to do stupid things to fit in because they don't really care about that anymore so there is some hope <laughs> um but at the end of the day again guys will be guys and it is really hard to find good guys but please 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 don't ever 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 settle i am in a relationship right now we, i've been dating uh, my boyfriend for a couple years and he is older than me actually uh he is 24 and i'm 20 almost 21 um and every day i'm so thankful that i did not settle for the guys i dated back in high school because this guy uh he is amazing and he just treats me with so much respect and i see the relationships that some of my friends are in um or were in and those guys don't really treat them with a lot of respect and uh a lot of it has a lot to do with the fact that those guys just aren't quite there yet with the maturity levels and uh and so for real i know you want to be in a relationship but don't get into a relationship just for the heck of it wait and find a good guy that's going to treat you nicely all right so i hope that was helpful i know in some ways it probably kind of made you feel a little down because you're not sure if there is any hope for guys even when you get to college <laughs> no i'm kidding i promise there are good guys out there so you have to be looking for them at the right places um so uh, before I go, I do want to say again, if you are interested in this college guide, uh, feel free to check out the description down below. Again, this guide includes seriously everything you need to know before college. We talk a lot about school, mental health issues, parties, sex, um, how to uh, how to manage relationships, friendships, how to get along with roommates, seriously everything. We discuss everything in this guide. So if you are interested in that guide, make sure you check out the link in the description down below. But yeah, that is all I got for you. Hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. And until next time.